According to the National Kidney Foundation, more than half a million people go to an emergency room each year for kidney stones. It's estimated that one in 10 people will develop kidney stones at some time in their lives. At Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center, we spoke to urologist Dr. Elmer Pineda. He explains kidney stone formation and why they're so painful. Kidney stone is really, just like it sounds, it's a stone uh, formed in the kidney. Um, there's all different types of kidney stones. 75% are calcium based and they're usually rock hard. They form in the kidney, but they can stay in the kidney or they can go into what's called the ureter, the tube that drains the kidney, and that's where people have a lot of pain. And it actually comes in waves, waves of pain. Nothing makes it better, nothing makes it worse. I've actually have had patients who had natural childbirth and the kidney stone pain is worse. Um, but the kidney stone pain usually starts in the back, called the flank area, often radiates to that side of the stomach or the abdomen. Sometimes you have referred pain going into the groin area. What can cause kidney stones? It's mostly really dietary. There are some familial stones, but that's a minority. Uh, but dietary, and the common theme for all the patients who form stones, is that for them, they don't drink enough fluids for them so they're not as hydrated as they should be. Dr. Pineda outlines the treatment options. Size and location determine how you're gonna treat the stone. And so stones say in the kidney of a certain size, I would say a centimeter to two centimeters in size, uh, one can form what's called shock wave lithotripsy. Shock waves are delivered precisely to the stone to break it up into small pieces so that you can pass it through. Um, the other option is if it falls into the ureter, the tube that drains the kidney, then I would take a scope, put it into the bladder, and go up the tube called the ureter. So however the urine comes out, I go up. I find a stone, break the stone, often with a laser, and then pull out the small pieces. For very large stones, I do what's called a percutaneous nephrolithotomy, which is a bigger procedure that I actually go through the back there's an incision of about maybe two centimeters and through that small incision I go directly into the kidney to break the stone and pull out the pieces. After we do these procedures ordinarily you have what's called a stent. A stent is a plastic piece of tubing that goes from the kidney to the bladder and what the stent does is allow the ureter to heal and it allows you to help pass the stones and ordinarily the stent stays in there for a few days to a week or until all the stones are treated. The other treatment option that people don't think about is doing nothing. You don't need surgery and if the stone is small enough we let it pass on its own and we give you ordinarily a medicine called Flomax or Tamsulosin. It's a prostate medicine that helps you pass the stone uh, and I would give it up to even a month to help you pass it if your pain is well controlled. Dr. Pineda gives dietary tips for kidney stone prevention. The key thing is drinking enough fluid until the urine looks almost clear. It's really not necessarily how much you're drinking, but if you look at your urine, if it looks almost clear, you're doing the right thing. The best fluids are lemonade or water with lemon. And the thing you want to stay away from are salty foods. The big one is fast foods, potato chips, pretzels, cured meats, anything with a high salt content you may want to stay away from. And if you can, animal proteins, I would say red meats is a good thing to start with to see if you can decrease the intake of that. Removing the stone often is treated very successfully. You may need more than one procedure. That's something you have to be prepared for depending on the size of the stone. Uh, but oftentimes we can get the stone out. And once the stone is removed, then we counsel you on how to prevent stones. Maybe even do a metabolic evaluation to check your urine, to check your, your blood work again, to see how we can help you prevent stones in the future.